Hi guys. Hello. Let me see. Good to see you guys. How are y'all doing today? My name is Paris. This is my I'm twin Amber. <laughs> my twin sister Amber. And we are here on live with Mo Music. I'm really happy to be here. They are some of our favorite people and definitely our favorite keyboards. And we're here with the one, the Voyager, which is our OG. And we actually have a little friend today with us. It's the Roland Compu Rhythm CR78. Let's get Amber back in the frame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just hanging out. Feel free to ask us any questions. We'll be playing, we'll be showing some of the patches that we made in North Carolina with Moog um, for the one. So. Let go of wind. 
Um, this is a patch called EP Lift Mock Brightness. It's one of the ones that we made. I'm sorry, I'm missing stuff. That's... <laughs> hey, y'all. <clears throat> what do you guys want to hear? Let's go through some sounds. Okay. So, like I mentioned, we did spend some time in North Carolina um, with Moog and a really, really great guy. Um, Kevin Lamb, who really was instrumental, so to speak, in teaching us all about the synths and really getting into the mode one, and he, he helped us a lot with designing our sounds. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, show love and also pay tribute to him. We did uh, lose him not too long ago, so we hold him really close to our hearts, and he has created some super sounds for this keyboard. So, some of ours, though, we had fun naming them. We named them a lot of. Um, after a lot of Minneapolis and Minnesotan like landmarks. So yeah, Nokomis and Minnehaha, but mm, let me see. Here's one of our favorites. Mm. Oh, cruise control, um, because we love the Nintendo 64 and Cruising USA was the jam. <laughs> Oh, 
on. It's an original off of our last record. Um, yeah, so again, I actually went back to that same sound, EP Lift Mod for Brightness. I really like that one. And again, it's one of the king sounds. I don't just love it because we made it, but <laughs> it is a good sound. Um, and it's really versatile, but... chord function of um of the keyboard one of our favorite things let me let me find my thing yeah there's so many sounds in this highly recommend 10 out of 10 let me see so i'm gonna go to, now to a sound called faded light I'm gonna show it how to make a chord. I'm gonna hit learn. We're gonna hit the bottom note of the voice in first. And teach it to from mode one. And now it's making me a chord. That's exactly the chord I wanted it to make me. So let's try something. This is the CR78. It's from 1978. This is our most recent purchase, but we've been jamming with it for a while.
still just in love with this keyboard. Sorry for cracking my knuckles. I know it's not like cool. But yeah, we really, we're having a lot of fun. There's so many functions in it and everything. I'm going to turn on my chord thing, even though I had to turn it off earlier. But... Such a nice thing.
Um, yeah, someone asked what song that was. That was Native Land. Actually, everything we played so far was on our first record. It is all... Uh, it's up everywhere. Someone says, well, boards are being used. This is the Moog one. This is the Moog Voyager over here. And I'm just playing these two today, but I, if you go back in some of Moog's older videos, I've had like the Matriarch, uh, the Grandmother, the Mother 32, the D-Fam, all hooked up at one time. Someone asked, what about the Matriarch? I love it. It is super sick. Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, what did you say? I don't know, this is a, a sound that I did not make called Tomita Whistle, which is a jam. Oh, let's see. I can't even. Thank you. 
piano. The last sound I played was Tomita Whistle, I think it was called. And that is our, I guess, most recent arrangement of In the Meantime. We just keep making new arrangements of our songs all the time. So tune in next week for the next one. Just kidding. But yeah. <laughs> show you guys the studio too and some of the other stuff that we have because we've just been working on our record but just kind of pulling everything off the shelf so it's a mess right now but we're really excited to are we besties we are twin sisters and best friends mm -hmm. yeah. our birthday was last Wednesday
studio tour because the studio is not even like set up right now. Yeah, excuse the excuse the mess. Kind of. Can you turn around? And then you better take your charger. I'll just shit. <laughs> okay. So yeah, matriarchs and stuff. There's um our two year B set pro grandmother um. Dave Smith, Mofo. This is um, I think from the very late sixties, a Paya drummer boy. We collect too much stuff. Um, Maestro Rhythm King, Maestro Rhythm, which is the earlier version of that. The Rhythm Arranger, Moog Siren, Thirty Mother Thirty Two, D Fam, Hammond Auto Very Sixty Four, Juno Sixty, Wireless or Piano, a Hammond Organ, Dave Smith Tempest, uh, Electro Harmonics, Vocoder. More and more stuff. Moog Minotaur. I don't want to leave anything out. Um, we got some empty shelves because we're moving stuff around. But a uh, Honer bass, which has been really fun. Another uh, Dave Smith Tempest. Another Matriarch. Um, Wurlitzer Electric Piano. This is our dad's rose. Thanks, Dad. Roland TR08. Grand, another grandmother. Uh, Lindrum, which is probably the favorite piece right now. Um, yeah, so that's most of the things. And then, of course, we have the Moog 1, the Moog Voyager, the Moog Model D, and one more, and the CR-78. So, yeah, that's it. This has been so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys, do you want to do maybe one more? Uh, I think that it's 355. Yeah, we can. Do you love me? Yeah, sure. Why did this?
such a fun Wednesday to hang out with you all. Yeah. Um, much love to Moog. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, and really amazing brand company and the most amazing people. So we're very grateful. Yeah, we really love all of you guys and Moog. And follow us at We Are King if you aren't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.